What's up? My name is Chris from One More Game, and I'm actually behind this massive next generation console from Sony, which is the PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 launched yesterday in the Philippines. Happy PlayStation 5 Day to everyone. If you are lucky enough to get one of these in your hands, congratulations. Uh, welcome to the next generation. Uh, if you're one of the, or many of the <laughs> unlucky ones, well, all I can say is more stocks are incoming. Please don't support the scalpers. Um, just wait a bit. It'll come in the next few weeks, months, I don't know, but it's coming. Pay SRP for it. Don't pay over the SRP. And, um, you know, I hope you do get yours uh, soon. And, you know, with that, uh, I guess it, it's not, my, it's really obvious now to say that a lot of the games will be best played on the PlayStation 5. By saying that, I'm also saying goodbye to the PS4. Uh, I'm probably not going to miss you because I've already experienced how fast this thing is and I don't think you'll want to go back <laughs> once you've tried the PlayStation 5. And if you want to know more about the PlayStation 5, check out our review at onemoregame.ph. We have a full review right there plus our impressions of this next generation console. And with that, I did mention that all games will be running best on the PlayStation 5. And by all games, I mean this game right here, Cyberpunk 2077. So let's move the PS5 to the side for a bit. I wasn't a floating head. <laughs> I have a body. It was just really covered by this huge huge console. But then again, let's get to the point. Uh, we are going to have a very special unboxing of this equally massive collector's edition of Cyberpunk 2077. So as you all know, the game released last December 10. I'm sure a lot of you have been playing it. If you have, congratulations too. Uh, I know you guys have waited seven, eight years for this ever since it was first announced by CD Projekt Red. And um, given their pedigree, which are masterpieces as well, like The Witcher, this should be one for the books. But let's step straight to the unboxing. All right, we are going to unbox the special collector's edition of Cyberpunk 2077. But it's, it's inside a lot of boxes. So to spare you guys from all of that, this is how it looks when everything is inside the box. And here is everything outside of the box. So we'll take a look at everything one by one. Uh, from the very, very, from this very, very juicy collector's edition. So, obviously, you will have the game, the standard edition of the game. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if there's a digital, uh, apparently a deluxe edition. I don't think there is, but so we will have standard edition of the game that comes with every purchase, obviously, of the collector's edition. Now. Even if you buy the standard edition of the game, it has a lot of goodies. You will have the World Compendium. You'll have a bunch of stickers, some postcards, and a game map. And actually, you'll even have uh, bonus digital content. So just buying the, collector's ed uh, the standard edition of the game will get you a lot of freebies. And if you pre-ordered, the standard edition of the game, you will actually get access to one of these. So it, they're badges uh, of the gangs of Cyberpunk 27, 2077. So these are badges of the gangs that you will meet uh, inside of the game. 
So I don't know where I'm going to use this, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to put them in my jacket or in my shirt, but it's something nice to have. So let's just run through the contents of this. You got this really, really nice sleeve, which, you know, I, I think every game should have a sleeve like this. It, it just really adds to the premiumness of the packaging. You have the game, obviously, which is for the PS4, but you can run it on the PS5 via backwards compatibility. Uh, there will be a next-gen upgrade for the game coming out next year. So it will still be improved on the PS5, but for now, it'll run via backwards compatibility. You have a Welcome to Night City uh, leaflet inside. You got the stickers right here. Really, really nice looking stickers. And yeah, the digital content, which obviously I will not show because I don't want it taken away from me. <laughs> uh, and the game comes in two discs. So you might be wondering where that other disc is. It's over there, over at our PS5. So one disc will be the data disc and the next will be the game disc. So we'll put this out of the way. And the bonuses, as mentioned earlier, you get three postcards. So you've got the three postcards right here. You've got the Night City map, as mentioned earlier. I will try to open this up. Just to show you guys how big Night City is. There you go. Pretty sweet looking map. And you have your world compendium. So enough of that. That is all of that is included in the standard edition of the game. Pretty worth it, if I would say so. But now let's head on over to why we are all here: the collector's edition contents of the game. So the collector's edition comes with first. A collectible steel book, which I am personally a fan of. I have so many steel books in, uh, over at the over at my place, and this will just be a really nice addition to the collection. You you have the the finish right there, over at the front and at the back, and in the inside is that really nice yellow finish with the logo of the game. I will be opening these for the first time, so I don't know everything that's inside. We'll find out together. So here, um, what the hell is this? Uh, I think these are, oh, it, it seems to be, it, it looks like a comic book. So it's probably a comic book. We'll get to that later. I kind of don't want to open this just yet. We'll get to that a bit later. And we'll check out these other things for now. So this one first. Okay, so if earlier we had stickers of uh, the Cyberpunk 2077 and Night City uh, logos, now we have pins. So these are the pins that you usually stick on your bag or 
or your shirt or whatever, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, you have one pin here. And you have another pin right here. Next up. Next up, we have more stickers. And by more, I mean a lot of stickers. There's a lot of sheets inside. And it'll probably be of the various logos of the gangs and whatever companies you will see inside Night City. So, I don't know, there are at least 10 sticker sheets inside of this. And, you know, if you want to sticker bomb your laptop or any, any other uh, paraphernalia you have on your house. Next up, we have more badges. Yeah, so you have the samurai badge right there. And there are other badges inside. Let's take a look. So yeah, you have the three stars and stripes <laughs> badge. You have the samurai badge, which is looking very nice. And you have the Night City badge. So we'll move that to the side again. We've got so much stuff here already. We'll move on to the last and the heaviest. One of the heaviest things inside this, and and it is a keychain of, I will assume, of V's car. It's a pretty heavy keychain, actually. I'm not sure if you want to be bringing this around, but something that's nice to have. So one more thing. Is this, I don't know, maybe 200 page hardcover, hardcover art book of Cyberpunk 2077. So for a lot of the collector's editions, they usually include art books maybe 48 pages, 72, 100 pages, and they're not hardcover. They're paperback, but, you know, being CD Projekt Red, who really wants to treat their fans to something special, they've included this really, really nice looking hardcover art book. So just to show you what's inside, So if you are if you are like me who has a coffee table filled with gaming art books this one is definitely a good addition to the collection. Now everything you see right here came from inside this really nice collectible box. So it looks like a shoe box but it isn't you can see the logo of Cyberpunk right here. On the back, it's plain black. But one thing special about this box is actually on the inside, which when we open up, you'll get to see signatures of the employees of CD Projekt Red. So th this is a, a pretty great uh, piece of memorabilia to have along with the collector's edition. You have all of these team members that worked countless hours uh, day and night to give you, give us this wonderful game 
after seven, eight years of development. So we have a lot of stuff here. I'll be cleaning this up before we get over to the last piece, which is inside this box. All right, we're all cleaned up. And this is the last but crowning piece of the collector's edition, the, the statue that's included. Pretty nice touch. We have the Cyberpunk 2077 logo right here on the styrofoam enclosure itself. But let's not waste more time. Let's get right, get, get right down to building it. All right, we are done with building it. Uh, pretty easy, but you know, if you're a first time builder, things can get nerve wracking because you might break stuff, but here it is, the final product for everyone to see. Looks nice, doesn't it? Yep, that, 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 that bike is some sort of Akira type, you know, red with a futuristic looking uh, bike. You got V right here. You got the logo right here. And yeah, I mean, this will add to a very nice display on your house, maybe right beside to your PlayStation 5. All right, so there you have it, folks. The PlayStation 5 and the Cyberpunk 2077 Collector's Edition. So if you like more content uh, like that, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, One More Game, and check us out on Facebook, One More Game, uh, and our website, onemoregame.ph. This has been Chris, signing out. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I